Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm going to just chime in on this fresh and fit debacle. And if you follow my videos or you subscribe to my YouTube channel, CG Thomas, um, you'll see I actually talked about this a couple of videos ago. And I guarantee you that these brothers had a very, and I want to disclaimer, I'm not sticking up for them, but I'm just saying, I guarantee you they had something in their past with their mother growing up that was just a trigger point. Like I said, you know, for the most part, black women have that, they can spit that venom, especially, you know, mothers and their sons with the insults. Those insults don't, don't just bounce off. They stick to you. And when you're a child, it becomes traumatic. So when you become an adult, when you start dating, you start looking for a life mate, if you want to get away from that trauma, you're going to unfortunately put every black woman in that category that your mother, how your mother treated you. Even though your mother most likely did it out of love, it wasn't wrong, yeah. I've been through it all. Um, but you have to realize that. And it's not a preference. That's just an excuse. So when they say, oh, that's their preference, like women choose somebody that's tall. Or, no, because they don't bash anybody that's short. So that's not their preference. That's, that's their safety net. So when you do anything with a safety net, that's not a real relationship. Um, that's more of a, a, a coddling kind of feeling. Um, almost like when you see these a lot of these white men date Asian women. It's like a fetish. You know, oh, well, let me get this Asian woman because... And, and mostly the, the white men are rich or super dorky. And they know Asian women are just going to go go with that. So they just don't want to be alone. So that's what their preference. But no, that's what they're settling for. And these brothers on Refresh and Fit, I totally disagree with them. And it's just something they have to mature to to get. Like I said, I've dated everything and around the sun. You know, when I was younger, you know, it was whatever. But then when I started looking for real relationships, I, were, I was hesitant, more hesitant to date the sisters. But I didn't know why. It wasn't until later in life I figured out, hey, I got some traumatic issues going on that I need to address and fix. You got to realize that not all of anything is like what you're going through. Not all black women are this. Not all white women are this. It's just you have to fix yourself. And those brothers need some fixing. So I'm not telling you that. I'm not. I don't think it's beneficial to tear these brothers down. They need to first let go of their ego and, and being defensive. And talk rationally and figure why they feel this way. Oh, we don't date no Shaniquas. Okay, that's the lowest common denominator that you're thinking of. Like me personally, I wouldn't date a, a, a female from another race who says that she only dates black guys. Because most of the time when they say that, they're dating the lowest common denominator. They're dating the, the you know, the, 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 the Dantes and or whatever. You know, so I make sure, like I want to be loved for me, not for what my race is or what you think my race is about. You know, I drive a, a F-150. You know, I drive a, a, a truck. I don't want no Cadillac on spinners. I don't want no old ass looking Chrysler 300. That ain't my thing. I like trucks and I like sports cars. You know? Ain't no bangers and swingers with me. So, I mean, and I've actually, in college, I actually dated, not dated, I went to the movies with a white woman. And she told me I wasn't black enough. <laughs> you know, because uh, I don't like gangster music. I think it's ridiculous. You know, at that time, I was more in the Lupe fiasco and, you know, college dropout with uh, Kanye. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know. But these brothers are on that. They're... 
And they say this, but I guarantee you they're dating white, Hispanic, or whatever, and they're Asian doll or whatever, who present themselves or act what so-called black. Guarantee it. So they're saying they don't like something, but they're actually dating a representation of it. So that's what I'm saying. These brothers are lost. So instead of beating them down, I think we should just try to help them. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, CG Thomas. Uh, also on TikTok, CG Thomas as well. 004. Peace.